Hello friends, uh, I am Avishek Kumar Singh. In the last lecture, I have explained to you the engine components and uh, uh, about the uh, engine layout that is I engine, V engine, W engine. So, in this engine, the main uh, our motto that was the internal combustion engine starts. First will be your two stroke, four stroke. Uh, I will classify what is four stroke, two stroke and the difference between that and what are the advantages of these two engines. So, first will be your four stroke. So, let me tell you uh, why uh, it is called 4 stroke because uh, there are 4 distinct phases that is suction, compression, power and your exhaust. So, uh, you can understand your this is your engine, this is your inlet valve, this is your exhaust valve, Sorry. this is your inlet valve, this is your exhaust valve. What happens when the piston is at top dead center? that is TDC, your inlet valve opens that is your inlet valve will open like it will come down. So, what happens is the, the air and the fuel mixture gets inside and the, when the, it comes down it sucks that is it takes the air and fuel mixture along, along with it. So, when it reaches your BDC it takes the air and fuel mixture to BDC. This is your uh, first your uh, first part that is called suction stroke. In in this you have your zero to the crankshaft that is the piston is here the crankshaft rotates from zero to one eighty degree of the crank rotation. Means your piston is here, your piston is here. It will start to take air inside and this angle will convert to 180 degree means if it is there then it is like 180 degree 180 degree this is your call your uh, suction stroke and this is the only stroke in which the pressure inside the cylinder is less than the atmosphere because you are uh, creating a vacuum through which the air is going inside your cylinder if it is a petrol engine air and fuel mixer if it is a diesel engine only air so uh, this is your uh, first uh, part that is a uh, suction part. Now, what happens when this reaches the BDC, it gets closed, the valve closes the part. Now, what happens in the second part, again your, uh, your, your crank will rotate from 180 degree to 360 degree and from here it will start compressing your charge. See now both the valve is closed and the charge is getting compressed till the top dead center. Now uh, I told you that if it is a petrol it is it will be having a spark and if it is a diesel it will be having an injector. Now what happens in the petrol engine that uh, it compresses the charge the charge that means the air and the fuel and when it reaches the top dead center means just before the spark takes place and the mixture is ignited means when your piston when your, your piston is here it start compressing and it reaches there due to enormous uh, uh, sorry uh, your density of the charge increases due to density of the charge increases the pressure and temperature increases and in that medium if you light a spark definitely it is going to catch fire and it will create a power so it will there it will create a bank power means sudden explosion will take place and that will push the piston again down. So, that was your power stroke. I told you the first is your suction, second is your compression, third is your power and fourth is your exhaust. So, the power, the power stroke takes place here and due to enormous power it pushes the piston down then the piston again comes to BDC. Now what happens the energy that is uh, that creates the power has been used by the piston to come down in the expansion process and the, and the unutilized part is good uh, that comes out through your uh, that exhaust port. So what happens in that last stroke the burnt particles that is the burnt products are thrown out by the exhaust manifold. Your, in, uh, your exhaust valve opens and the burnt particles are thrown by the exhaust port. Now uh, this is the 4 stroke of an uh, IC engine, the suction compression power exhaust, hope you get 
this uh, please do watch the animation for this we'll be uploading an animation side by side so uh, suction compression power and exhaust this is a process of a four stroke engine and here I, as i told you from 360 it will move to 540 and at last 540 to 720 means total two crank rotation you will you will be requiring to uh, complete the process of a four stroke engine now let's uh, see uh, two stroke actually in four stroke you are just utilizing one one stroke for your power that means you are getting only one power stroke and rest three are dull stroke that means they are they are not adding to any not adding any value to your engine just they are suction compression power the main your main stroke is your power stroke that is creating power so it is having one main stroke and three unutilized stroke that is called dull stroke now let's see a two stroke engine in two stroke engine what happens your two parts like suction suction uh, compression power exhaust is there now what happens in case of two in two stroke let me first draw the picture see this is a typical diagram of a two stroke engine see uh, this is a piston piston this is a passage called known as the transfer port transfer port this is known as a deflector deflector this is your exhaust you can notice the difference difference between the two in uh, construction this is your inlet this is your uh, crankshaft as told this is your connecting rod this is your piston and compression overlaps with your power and exhaust in case of a two stroke engine see uh, what happens is your charge is prepared over here through transfer port it moves here and and this part your combustion region is your this part you have your spark if it is a petrol engine and there you get a combustion and that pitch, uh, pushes the piston down you can notice the difference between the four stroke and two stroke in that uh, four stroke you used to have a uh, valve here valve here and the air flows through it the power is to take place it is to move the piston down and then the exhaust uh, used to flow out from there in this case in, you are get you are giving the inlet through this part your mixer is prepared here through the transfer port it moves to this region and after uh, your firing the exhaust moves from this part now one thing to notice is that uh, i have given us a deflector in a triangular shape what is the reason that uh, uh, in order see you will get you will your fresh charge will move from here and the exhaust burnt products are here so the main reason of giving a deflector is that it should separate between the fresh charge and your uh, exhaust products because if it will uh, if it will move uh, it will mix it will create a uh, unnecessary wastage of fuel so this is the reason of giving a deflector in the two stroke engine and this is a transfer port through which your mixer flows and when the firing takes place it pushes the piston down and your exhaust flow from here so this is the construction of a two stroke engine two stroke was basically designed by douglas clark uh, your uh, in in 1878 uh, douglas uh, clark and four stroke was designed by your uh, nicolas uh, nicolas otto his name was nicolas a otto in 1876 and it was by dugald dugald clark in 1876 now uh, you might be uh, nowadays seeing that two stroke is not in use so what's the reason why two stroke in, is not in use you will be surprised that Japan has banned this two stroke in 1971 and in India uh, as far as I remember the last two stroke engine was that uh, Chetak Bajaj Chetak scooter two stroke engine.